We now welcome in Penn State head coach James Franklin, former coach of two of the two newest Eagles, Miles Sanders and Sharif Miller. Coach, two of your guys now in the NFL at, at the Philadelphia Eagles. How cool was this to see them both end up in the same place? Yeah, it's really cool because they're, they're both Pennsylvania guys. Um, obviously, Miles is from Woodland Hills in, in Western PA in the WPIL, and and then for Sharif, you know, Sharif's right there. You know, he's a he's a Frankfurt guy. Um, you know, came to Penn State. Both of these guys came to Penn State. They were culture drivers in our locker room and allowed us to turn this program around and get it back to one of the top programs in the country. Um, you're you're going to love them. You know, they're great players, but they're better people, and uh, you're going to really enjoy getting to know these guys over the next couple of years. Coach, I want to talk about Miles Sanders first, and a guy obviously that was so productive for you guys this year as a junior, his first year as a starter. When did things really start building up for him in terms of buzz about you know scouts talking about him going to the NFL? Uh, at what point did you say, you know what, this is probably going to be uh, his final year on campus here? Well, I, I never say that because I want him here as long as sure. possible. But uh, <laughs> you know, it was pretty early on. I mean, obviously, we've been we've been fortunate. You know, we had a guy like Saquon Barkley, and then we were fortunate to go out and recruit the number one running back uh, in the country um, as a recruit, and that was and that was Miles. And Miles was able to come here. You know, him and Saquon had a great relationship. They worked really well together. Um, you know, Miles was always ready for his opportunity when it came. Uh, and then when Saquon went on to the NFL, that it was Miles' opportunity to step up. And I remember Saquon all the time kind of looking over his shoulder and saying to me, oh, this guy's got a chance to be special. So uh, you know, we've been blessed and fortunate to work with him, but we knew very early on that, that he had tremendous upside, tremendous potential, and his work ethic and his demeanor and drive is really what you know set him apart. Patience seems to be the word when it comes to Miles, at least what we've been discussing over the last couple of days, patiently waiting his turn there. Uh, he said he learned patience during his time having an injury and then, of course, a patient runner. Well, how do you see him fitting into the Eagles offense and how he can make an impact in the running game? Well, one of the things I think is great about him is I do think he's a three down back. You know, One, one of the plans that we had uh, if he was going to come back, is we wanted to get him a lot more involved in the passing game, and that was going to be an emphasis all all uh, all off season. I thought from the time the season ended to the combine and to the draft, he did an unbelievable job uh, at working on ball skills, at working on route running, and getting really comfortable with that part of his game. That it really became a strength. Uh, it's amazing how many head coaches and GMs called me about how well he caught the ball in our pro day, how well he caught the ball at the combine, looked so natural running routes. Um, so, you know, I just think he's a guy that can do so many things. He's got the body type that you look for and covet in that league, um, you know, that's going to be in every down back. And now he's shown that, you know, he can not only hold up the pass protection, but also can hurt you in the passing game as well. And, you know, uh, Coach Peterson obviously is a creative guy. There's a lot of different ways to be able Coach, take us into the, the X's and O's part of it a little bit. When you have a guy like a Miles Sanders who can be moved around a little bit in the formation and can do some of those things in the passing game, the Eagles have been a team in the past that have gone tempo a little bit and tried to mess with defenses. What does that do for you as an offensive coach to be able to attack defenses if you've got a versatile chess piece like a Miles Sanders? Well, I think that's a great way to describe my versatile check piece. and That, that was going to be a big plan of how we were going to use him this year. So, um, yeah, I just think it, it causes headaches as a, as a defense when you're not sure if they're going to be in a traditional two-back set. You don't know if they're going to be in a, in a one-back set. You don't know if they're going to be in empty. Are they going to line up in empty and get you to check to your empty coverage? And then are they going to motion back into the backfield and now they got you stuck into a vanilla look or vice versa? Start you in the backfield, get you into get you in one defensive look, and then motion out to empty. There's just a lot of different things that that you can do with him, and he's a smart guy. You know, he picks up things really well. He's got an awesome family. Uh, his mom is. You guys are going to love to get to know her and, and his two brothers. Very supportive, but just you know, there's just so many aspects of Miles that you guys are going to really enjoy. Coach, I'm glad we're talking to you later in the day so we can also talk to you about Sharif Miller as well. Uh, another big addition for the Eagles there on that defensive line. He's going to have uh, the chance to come in and compete in a, a great defensive line group where they just love to send one guy after the other, after the other, rotate those guys in there. How do you see him fitting in in this Eagles scheme? 
Well, I, you know, the thing about Sharif, I, I'm so proud of him. From the time we recruited him out of high school, uh, from the time that he showed up here on campus, um, he's grown, he's matured, he's developed in every aspect of his life, um, academically, athletically, socially, uh, has really become a big-time football player, was a tremendous leader for us this year on our D-line, on our defense, and really with, that, with our team. Uh, you know, we led the nation in sacks last year, and he was a huge part of that. Where I thought he made a big step this year is he was a really complete player. A lot of times early on, all defensive ends want to do early on in their careers, just sack the quarterback. And, and he's at a point now where not only does he enjoy, obviously, getting pressure on the quarterback, but, but playing the run consistently and holding his gap and all those types of things. So you know, the way, the way you know, Philly plays defense and the way they play with their front, I know he's going to be excited to work in there, but I do think he's a guy that has the size, that has the physicality, the durability, um, and the athleticism that he can do a lot of different things for you. And I think that's, to me, what I have found over my 24 years of doing this. A lot of times as coaches and as scouts and as fans, we get excited about that guy that's got the one really sexy trait um, that you fall in love with. He ran an unbelievable 40 or he did one thing extremely well. And that's not really the case with Sharif. He does a lot of things at a high level. He may not have one elite trait, but he does a lot of things at a really high level. And I think that's when you have a chance to have a really good defense and a really good football team. Coach, you talk about you know he doesn't have maybe that one elite trait, but what do you think as a pass rusher, what is that one thing he can kind of lean his hat on? He can you know, kind of say, okay, this is my calling card. If I'm going to beat the tackle across me, does he have a, a go-to move? What, what was his uh, go-to way to try and beat the man across from him? Yeah, I don't know if, if I would say there, there's, there's kind of his one move. I, I don't think he's a one-trick pony. I think he's got a long arm. I think he does a really good job of get off and, and trying to beat the offensive tackle's outside arm. Uh, pretty fairly, you know, developed when it comes to using his hands. Uh, he's got some counter moves off of it as well. But I think really it's, it's his ability to bend. It's his relentless motor. Um, it's combination of speed and strength. And obviously, I know there's you know there's phenomenal tackles that he's going to be going against in that league. Um, but I think that's that's kind of what makes him good is he's got a wide skill set. He's got a wide range of skills that he's able to lean on uh, when he needs to based on you know what's the talent and skill of the, opponent, the guy he's going against. Well, Coach, I know we have a lot of Penn State alums that work for the Eagles who are so excited to have a couple Penn State guys here, great athletes and even better people. So thank you so much for giving us a closer look at what the Eagles have in Miles Sanders and Sharif Miller. Thanks so much. Guys, I really appreciate you having us on. Have a wonderful day and good luck with the rest of the draft. Thanks, Coach.